talked about the menus, the status line, the shells, the view panel, uh, the toolbar, and in this one we're going to wrap it up by talking about this lowest portion which has the time slider, the range slider, the command line, and some playback controls. So uh, uh, Maya is a 3D animation program and to animate things have to change over time. So th in the time slider uh, it represents frames. Uh, each frame is a still image when you see a moving image on the TV or video what you're seeing is really um, several still images uh, played very closely behind each other each one slightly different and it's perceived as a smooth motion so uh, this is these are your frames and there's different formats some are 25 frames a second some are 30 frames a second or even 60 frames a second but these are your these represent your frames of time uh, when you're animating. Now if you notice mine only goes it stops at 120. Uh, what you see here and how many frames you have available is determined by your range slider down here. This uh, shows uh, your first frame. This is how many total frames. Suppose I want 500 total frames and uh, then this number is how many do I want to see at one time and right now it's 120 and I can move this to any point in those 500 frames or if I want to see all 500 at one time I can uh, enter that. So uh, just do what's comfortable with you. Sometimes when you're animating a specific section you may want to see less. Uh, time slider is where you would uh, put your keyframes when you begin to animate. Uh, it also has playback controls here. Uh, let's talk about this section here. This is what frame number you're on and I can type in a value here if I want. Frame 200 which I can't see until I go to 200. Um, I can go to the very first frame or the very last frame. I can uh, increment by uh, one frame at a time forward or backwards. These it increments forward or backwards but to the next keyframe which we don't have any keyframes but that would go to the next keyframe and the next. Uh, these just play forward and backwards and it does not necessarily play at real time so know that when uh, when you're doing that. Uh, there are some settings for the time and range slider at this last I, uh, button here and uh, you say playback speed real time or you can do play every frame. There's benefits to using it depending on what you're doing. For example if you're doing particles where uh, one frame is dependent on the frame before it, it plays smoother and more accurately if you have it play every frame. Um, I'm going to leave it at real time at the moment. And this last section uh, is the command line and I had touched a little on this in a previous video with the shelf. Uh, as you go about doing things in Maya uh, they are shown uh, as commands and uh, mail commands which has a command and different flags. Uh, this area here is a place that I can copy and paste like I could copy I just did a command C and a command V to paste I don't think I need that W at the end. And uh, so suppose I have a something that is selected. I think I can go here and hit enter and it performed that mail script. It just did it once and it's gone. Um, so we're not going to get into mail a lot at the moment. Uh, that's something I would encourage you if you're interested in to go to the help and look up script editor or mail scripting or Python scripting. It's very powerful, just probably not appropriate this time to get too deep in that. But just want to show you what that was. Well, that's it. I think we covered everything. I did notice that uh, when I was going over the status line, I did not go over this icon. Uh, this has this is your tool settings which will be very important later on. So if I'm in the move tool or the select tool and I select the tool settings, I get a, a side menu here that has options for those um, or uh, you know different settings can be applied. Um, 
also for the move and uh, things like that. So that that's I just had forgotten about that. But that wraps this up. I'm glad uh, if you're still listening to me, I'm glad you made it through this, and I hope this gave you a, a sense of the interface. There is so much we didn't cover in detail, and that's okay. This is just to get us started, and I uh, hope you can uh, join us in the next uh, tutorial sets where we begin uh, learning modeling and some of the more advanced features. But uh, thanks for making it through and supporting this channel, and uh, 